Diana Christopher is here now, the Genetics Education and Engagement Fellow. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me. So tell me, what does an Education and Engagement Fellow do? That's a really good question. Um, the good thing about the fellowship is there's actually a lot of flexibility about what you can do as a fellow, and they're really supportive of helping you find your niche and figure out the things that you're passionate about in education and engagement in terms of genetics and genomics. For me, I've done a lot of work with um, healthcare professionals. So one project that I've worked on a lot has been to give healthcare professionals resources to help them respond to patients who have done DTC testing or are interested in DTC, DTC testing. Another project that I've done a lot is going to low income and low literacy communities that have a history of like health disparities and just like health problems in general and really start to remove some of that stigma that comes from talking about genetics and genomics because they hear about genetics and genomics in the news but they don't really understand it and they haven't necessarily started to have those conversations with their family members and their healthcare providers. So a lot of my work has focused around those communities. I've also done a lot of a public engagement with students like high school students um, and even early career and college students mostly ones that are interested in genetics or genomics but are not necessarily aware of all the career opportunities and and how to get into the research and how to start doing the work so it's great because they really try to match you with things that that you're interested in and that you'll be good at and then in hopes that it will help to foster a career for you in that space i feel like education is so key to changing the outcomes for people's health is that why you chose to get into this area of the field Yes, absolutely. Um, when I was a graduate student and I was actually um, starting to my research career, I realized that so many diseases are preventable or we can screen for them early. And what happens is that when you don't have that genetic knowledge, that doesn't happen. So you have all these, um, the mortality rates are higher, the morbidity rates are higher for patients who actually really would have really benefited from someone having that knowledge and caring for them or them having that knowledge because they talk to their family about what health problems run in my family, um, what diseases have people in my family had so I can go and talk to my doctor and we can start this conversation because if I have a family history of breast cancer then I need to be screened earlier than the average person in the population and um, I found that so many people actually just did not know or they were fearful because they heard genetics and they felt like, oh, that's a scary term or I don't know what that means and I don't really know what to do with that information. There was a lot of stigma, like people are afraid to share that information with people because they're like, am I gonna be discriminated against? Am I gonna have problems finding a job? Am I gonna have a problem with health insurance? So that really is what made me passionate about the field and to really start the education process because everyone can benefit from knowing more about genetics healthcare professionals, um, people in the public, students, really everybody Everybody benefits because everybody's affected by genetics, so. So clearly you're impacting people's lives. How has this fellowship impacted your career? The fellowship has been so great for me because it's really put me in spaces with people that I really admire and whose work I really want to replicate in my own way. And I don't think I would have had that opportunity without the fellowship. Um, there's so much flexibility and there's so much um, encouragement to do things that you care about and that you're passionate about. And I feel like I can tell any of my mentors, like I really am interested in um, this specific aspect of genetics and they'll find someone for me to talk to, for me to work with, they'll find projects for me to do. And also just getting to know um, ASHG better and, and some of the work that they do and working with their partners in HGRI and getting um, really a front seat at what happens in genetics and genomics and being on the up and up. Um, I really am grateful for just being so immersed in the field and all the opportunities that I've been given as a fellow. So what are your next career goals and how maybe has this fellowship helped to hone in on that? For me, I think I want to continue working in these public spaces and helping to make genetics and genomics less scary for people who may not have a background in it. Um, and I think that the fellowship has definitely done that because I have so many things on my resume now that say that I'm qualified to do this, I do this well, and it's backed up by these results. And I think that um, I'm gonna continue doing that and continue working in spaces that allow me to offer that education for these populations and to engage people and get them interested and get them to see the value in genetics and genomics education. So you're gonna continue doing a lot of good. Diana Christopher, thank you so much. Thank you for having me.